Hello ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, this is Shen and you're watching Coffee TV. This is the second video and let's get So here is the SSP bore. This is 98 millimeters bore. Pretty big, eh? And here's the bore installation guide. Wow, how kind is it? But this is about the ultra grinder. On the way to SSP factory, I researched something, so I figured out what this is for, and this, and these are for. So let's talk about it first. This one goes to the outlet. So when you put this thing on, you can put it like this and then put here like this. So that's for two things. First one for getting the ground beans properly. Without that, the ground beans stuck at the outlet so it cannot come out. So the outlets like pushed out by the ground coffee bean. And the second thing is it breaks the clumps so it just breaks up like you and your ex-girlfriend sorry do not kill me and then after grinding if you do like this you can like remove the residues in there so this one this one goes like this so this is sort of extension so it goes like this when you put your powder filter on here as it extends the length of the outlet so you can get the ground pins like properly. No ground pins like spray all over the place kind of thing. And then this three is a circular plate. So this is the bearing and these are go on the bearing. So this grinder is different than the other grinders because there is no thread on here or here. But as you screw it in, it pushes this thick plate whole thing. It pushes this whole thing down there so if you like push it in the gap between the bursts gets smaller so it can grind like finer so if it doesn't have this one this three place on the top it cannot align properly if it's kind of tilt the burst or goes like this then on this part it gives like coarser ground and on this part it gives like finer ground so these are essential on here so you should not i mean i should not lose them okay so let's put the burst on there in here they provide six screws and then probably i can put this washer first no it doesn't go in so i just put the screw so this is top bar it says outside yeah outside bar so it goes on here because this is it's gonna be on the top and then this one is inside so this one is bottom bar so this one goes on here. So I just put this one first on here like this. So I put the burst on there. Oh shoot, it's stuck. Push it in. There you go. Line it up with the holes. Three bolts in. It's too big. So I just use this one. They provide like two of them. So I can use a smaller one. Put it in like this. And the second one. And the third one. One here as well outside. So put it like this. One, two, three. Not too tight though. If you like tight it too much, you cannot take it out when you want to clean it. And then don't lose these springs on here, four of them. Okay, and probably this oil should like rub on here. Oh yes, it's already put some of the oil in here because it's quite slippery. So something like this, there you go. And then put the bearings on like this. Oh yes, and put this on here, and then put those four screws back on. Nice, nice, and nice. So everything is ready. So all I can do is set them up on my table. So here it is. Oh yes, how cool is that? Those are two connectors, as I showed you. So this one goes back to the grinder. There you go. And this one as well. You need to screw this in on the connector. There you go. And I'll start it. Boom. So I just turned it on and the basic setup is 1500 RPM. So this is the main power button and this is the button that start the grind. And it's really, really quiet. Seriously. And I'm not sure if it works though. I can put the battery in but as they don't provide any batteries for this one. It'd be really nice if they just provide a battery inside because it's really nice to just use it right away. But anyway, 
but I can still run the grinder. I've got some leftover right like this. I start with 20 grams. Let's grind it. Yeah, I think this one can go like this. Oh yes, oh, it's quite nice. I think I need funnel like this. So it can go like, oh shoot, like this. Oh, yeah, well. So let's do this. Whoa! Surprise, mother Oh shit, what the The dial is too big, it's my fault though. But what was the boop, boop, boop? I just changed the dial to all the way to the finest. So, oh shoot, there are some beans still stuck inside. So I need to grind everything out so like this. Oh, now it goes smoothly. It was really, really coarse. Uh, I can turn it like so much. So yes, this is the finest. The finest is on zero. And then let's go back to a bit coarser. So I'll put the dial on three and I run it again. Oh, there you go. And then, oh yes, oh it works nicely. But what about you? As you saw, there was popcorning quite much. So some of the beans popped out like this. So I think there should be like cup or something when you start to grind. And this thing doesn't put on there properly. It keeps like comes out. But as you saw this, this worked pretty well. And then oh, the birds are very new. So I need to grind like a kilo or two kilos to get the birds the coffee oil in there. So I'm not gonna drink right now. And then what I can do right now is retention test. How much of the retention remains in there. So let's try it. What I can do is, I can put it like this and then, well, I think it's gonna work. I'm not sure though. And I'll just get the grounds like this and then run it. <laughs> it's really, really quiet though. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh. oh. 19.3 grams. Nah, this one was ruined. And I do like five times. And 20.4 grams, but I still use it. What are those for? Dang. 20.3 grams, 0.1 grams of retention. Third one, this time 20.8 grams. I need a brush. Thank you, Nish. Thank you, Nish. 20.7 grams. Yeah, 0.1 grams of retention. It's quite nice, actually. This time, 20.5 grams. 20.4 grams. It's nice. 0.1 grams of retention. And then, 20.4 grams. It's really quiet. It's really impressive, though. 20.4 grams. Yeah, 0.1 gram retention again. And then the last one. This time, I'm gonna grind 24 grams. 23.7 grams, yes, 0.3 grams of retention. So I just changed the RPM. If you change the grinding time, it'll be fine. So 1,500 RPM, how long it'll take. And grinding point is the same, it's at three. I'll do the 20.6 gram this time. There you go. I think it took about four seconds, but the thing is though, I had to do the ta 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 ta, ta right? 20.4 grams came out, 0.2 grams of retention. And then I'm going to maximum 2,500 RPM. So if I turn this one here, so 2,500 RPM, let's hear the sound first. Yeah, it sounds a bit different. Let's do this. 20.5 grams now. Whoa! I think it took even less than 3 seconds though. 20.8 grams, I think it pushes all the residues in there out. <laughs> so nice, it's really fast though. And I'll do about 500 RPM. Let's go 500 RPM now. Nice, let's hear the sound. I can hear some sound, but it barely makes noise. 20.6 grams. Oh, it's slow. Wow, it got really slow and it has more retention. I got 90.4 grams out, so it has like 1.1 grams of retention in there. So I think, as it's flapper grinder, so for getting the ground coffee bean out, it needs to have enough centrifugal force, but the RPM is low. 
it doesn't have enough centrifugal force to push the ground beans out. So it has more retention in there. On the other hand, when the Alpine was fast, it has like even more ground bean out. Wow, it's cool. I figured out something. And then let's do extreme, extremely low like RPM. So let's go down to 50. It doesn't make any noise. It's just nothing. 20.5 grams. It's fun. Nothing. What about 100? Yeah, from 100 it grinds something but nothing comes out because I think, yeah, I need to open the tiny plate, this one. Wow, it's really slow. Freaking hell, I'm freaking out right now. Oh my god. It takes like forever. That's it. It's really light. 11.9 grams out. <gasps> I, I think everything is stuck in there. I'll show you. You see this, right? <laughs> they cannot even go out. Huh. It's funny. Let's do 100 RPM. And 50, 50. This is 50 RPM. Ah, oh, it doesn't work at 50. It works properly from 100. <laughs> and what it can do is reverse. So it can do minus rotation. Let's do this. So I do minus 100 RPM. i show you. This is 100 RPM. 50, zero, minus 50, minus 100. <laughs> it goes backwards, freaking hell. And <laughs> coffee comes out like this. What the heck? So you can do reverse, but yeah. The thing is though, it's not really necessary to like test it with the reverse because it's gonna be like long, long video. And I, I'm just newbie of this grinder, so I need to figure out how to use it properly. But the thing is we figured out if the RPM is really low, then it has more retention because it doesn't have like enough centrifugal force. The theory has become a real life. If the dial is bigger, if we like grind coarser, then it'll give like re less retention. FII, the dial number three is even smaller than espresso dial. So I'm gonna use it for like a couple of months and then I get to know each other and then do the review video properly. There are gonna be like so many things to review. And if you want to see the review video as soon as possible when I upload it, just subscribe my channel and there are gonna be more videos of Coffee Scene TV so please subscribe and set the alert and then like the video. Thank you for watching guys and peace out! Ooh.